This is chapter 6, verse 6. spot out something so it says the Lord regretted that he had made human beings on this earth and his heart his heart his heart was deeply troubled so the Lord said I will wipe out from the face of the earth the human race I've created and with them the animals the birds and the creatures that move along the ground for I regret that I have made them but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Now here's a man that loves God so much that no matter what, there's bad people on this earth at that point, and God's like, he's regretted that he's made human beings. But here's this man right here that's blameless and righteous man. He could be like the others, but he's not. Amen. Amen. And then if you look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all the people for the earth is filled with violence. Because of them, I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of wood. Now, God's telling Noah that you better get ready for what's coming. Amen. And Amen. Like, it has a thing to do, like, you better get ready for Judgment Day. You better get ready for everything that's coming up. And then, if you look down to Genesis chapter 6, verse 17, I'm going to bring flood waters, flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under heavens. Every creature that has breath of life in it, every on peace, me, every on earth will perish. Now, God is really upset with the people who, what they've done and what they, you know, what they choose to do. But, you know, you got to stay faithful in God and you got to worship Him and do not give up faith. Amen. And then, if you look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 22. God, Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Now this righteous man did everything. He put in his money, his hard work money. Amen. And yes. He did everything as the Lord of Lord God commanded him. Yes. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found your righteousness in this generation. Take seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and his mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and his mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female. Now, God's telling Noah everything about this, what he needs to do. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you, if you was Noah, would you listen to God, or would you just sit back and wouldn't believe him? Yes, amen. Would you be like the giants on that earth, or would you be like Noah, the righteous man, or you could be a woman? And then, would you want to, like, the warning is about, like, how God will warn you every day about little, something by little. And if you don't do it, then there's going to be a consequence. Amen. Amen. Now, would you turn your Bibles... To Genesis chapter uh, three, verse two. Now the woman said to the serpent, "We may eat fruit from the tree in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die." You would not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God's knowing good and evil. Now, if God warns you about something or tells you to do something that, like, you're not, tell you not to touch something or do something, there's always, there, most of the time there's going to be someone who wants to just, like, go not with God, oh, like yes. the serpent. He's convincing this woman not to meet this convincing this woman to eat from the tree 
that the Lord God said not to eat from. And then now would you look down to Genesis chapter 3, verse 14. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed all you have, cursed all are you above all livestock and wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. And between your offsprings and hers, he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make you pay your pains and childbearing for me. Very surface. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Now, if you don't do what God told you to do, there's always going to be a consequence. No matter what. There's going to be a consequence for the person who convinced you to. Like Satan, he got, he gets to crawl in his belly now. The snakes get to crawl in their belly now. And that's what he gets. Yes, you know? And he's going to feel it when God defeated him, and God's going to defeat him in Judgment Day. Amen. And now, you got to stay worthy in yourself. Now, if you're going to just do like the giants, or you're going to do like you're going to not go what you're not going to do what God told you to do, then you, you know where you're going. Yes, amen. But, you know, there's always a second chance. Mm -hmm. Great sign. Bless if, Jesus. Like, if you're worthy with God, you stay there and you have faith in Him, then, my friend, you're going to be walking down the streets of gold. <laughs> yes, amen. Yes, amen. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Now, do you, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you want to be, you can live your own life, have partying and all that, but, like, I know people that died because, like, they've been drunk before, they took something, and I don't know if they believed in God, but, you know, they always had a chance to change. Yes. yes. If you live bad and, like, you've done something wrong, then you can be forgiven for that. Yes, amen. And if... If you just, you could be in prison. You can be anywhere. The Lord sees you, and he, no matter what you've done, the Lord still loves you because He's your child. And you, if, even if you've done wrong in the past, that's the past. The future is the future, and in the future, you need to straighten up. And now, like. I know that you can be sad in your life, but don't make, don't let the devil put you down too much. Like all these people who had depression, look at them. Like they're all sad in that. But you know who done that? The devil. Yes. But you know what? Like I said, you always have a second chance, and God loved you so much that He gave you His only child. He, he might have gave his only child, but he can give you help. He can say, like, the person passed away. Well, what if a day later you found out that you're going to have another child because you was too sad, and then God blessed you? <coughs> My daddy has lost two childs, but look at me. I'm his third one. <laughs>